welcome to New Crypto Coin. Thank you for following our channel. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on YouTube. Twitter will have the most up to date um, information. Uh, YouTube has our more detailed information. And Instagram has information as well regarding New Crypto Coins and what's going on. Thank you for following our channel. We want to go over this article we found at Money by Time.com, Money Magazine. Um, this is a major national magazine and they're covering cryptocurrency, which goes to show you the mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. It's just growing every day. This is the first country to adopt the cryptocurrency as its official currency. This is huge news, guys. Marshall Islands, the tiny Marshall Islands, is creating its own digital currency in order to raise some hard cash to pay bills and boost the economy. The Pacific nation, island nation, said it became the first country in the world to recognize the cryptocurrency as its legal tender when it passed a law this week to create the digital sovereign, or SOV. In the nation of 60,000, the cryptocurrency will have equal status with the U.S. dollar as a form of payment. Let me read that again to you guys, how huge this is. The Pacific Island Nation said that it became the first country in the world to recognize the cryptocurrency as a, as a legal tender, legal tender, when it passed a law this week to create a digital sovereign, or SOV, in the nation of 60,000, the cryptocurrency will have equal status with the U.S. dollar as a form of payment. Venezuela last month became the first country to launch its own cryptocurrency when it launched the virtual petrol backed by crude oil reserves. The Marshall Islands said the SOV will be different because it will be recognized in law as a legal tender effectively backed by the government. Marshall Islands is partnering with Israeli company NEMA to launch the SOV. It plans to sell some of the currency to international investors and spend the proceeds. The Marshall Islands says the SOV will require users to identify themselves, thus avoiding the anonymity that has kept Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from gaining support from governments. This is a historical moment from our people, finally issuing and using our own currency alongside the U.S. dollars. It is another step of manifesting our national liberty. The Marshall Islands is closely aligned with the U.S. under a compact of free association and uses the dollar as its currency. Under the compact, the U.S. provides Marshall Islands with about $70 million each year in existence. The U.S. wants a military base on Carwan Atoll. Lawmakers passed the cryptocurrency measure Monday following five days of heated debate. It is unclear when the nation will issue the currency. Leaders hope the SOV will one day be used by residents from everything from paying taxes to buying groceries. The law states that the Marshall Islands will issue 24 million SOV in what is called an initial currency, off initial currency offering. Half of those will go to the government and half to NEMA. The Marshall Islands intends to initially sell 6 million... Six million SOV to international investors. It says they will use the money to help pay for the budget, invest in projects to mitigate the effects of global warming, and support those still affected by U.S. nuclear testing. The country also tends to hand out 2.5, 2.4 million SOV to residents. NEMA Chief Executive Barack Ben Eniv said the SOV marked a new era for cryptocurrency. SOV is about getting rid of the excuses for not shifting the digital assets, he said in a statement. He said it solved a huge problem with cryptocurrencies which have pre haven't been previously recognized as real money by banks, regulators, and the U.S. Internal Revenue Service. Some lawmakers expressed concern about the large amount of new currency that would go to the Israeli company, while others argued the country had urgent needs and the cash would help. Jin Chu, the Hong Kong-based co-founder of blockchain platform Kinetic, said that he thought it was an amazing move by the Marshall Islands and was the way of the future. Physical currency is going by the wayside as an incredited, ob obsolete form of transaction. But Chu added that he didn't think the currency would hold much appeal for international investors or be particularly valuable outside the Marshall Islands. And many people in the Marshall Islands and beyond remain skeptical of, cri skeptical of cryptocurrencies. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney said this past week that a global speculative mania has encouraged a proliferation of cryptocurrencies and that they need to be held to the same standards as the rest of the financial system. The prices of many cryptocurrencies have exhibited the classic hallmarks of bubbles, relying in part on finding the greater fool, Carney said in a speech to the Scottish Economics Conference in Edinburgh. Um, I think this is huge because we've never had... Um, a government back a cryptocurrency now we have a uh, official government that is now saying that the US dollar is equal with cryptocurrency um, and I think it's gonna be interesting to see how they handle it. I think Marshall Islands are the experiment to see if cryptocurrencies could work as a legal tender with government backing and I think that is where we're going we're going toward a legal tender with government backing two of the things that have been holding cryptocurrency back is security and identity 
Um, governments don't want to be involved in money that's not secure, and governments don't want to be involved in money that we can't identify who the person is behind this money. I think Marshall Islands will be the experience. They will be the lab rat. It'll be interesting to see what happens the next four or five years with Marshall Islands and this cryptocurrency to see if this could work. And I think that's what's happening here. They're saying, look, let's try this out in Marshall Islands. Let's see if this will work. And if this works, um, I think it would expand to other countries in the world. We're going to digital assets. And I think Marshall Islands will go down in history as the first, comp as the first country to adopt the cryptocurrency as its official currency. And then it will spread from there. Guys, let me know what you think about this. This is big news. Thank you for following um, New Crypto Coin. Thank you for supporting our channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, like the video, share the video. Thank you for following um, this channel. You can find us on YouTube, New Crypto Coin, Instagram, New Crypto Coin, and Twitter, New Crypto Coin. Thank you.